Hey, let me check in with Lots, Lots Away by Darcy a Little Badger. I'm up to about, I'm almost finished chapter 17, where uh, Ellie, Lots Away, and Jay are doing their investigation, their Scooby-Doo investigation into uh, the mysterious doctor who she has learned in a dream, uh, a dream, a vision, uh, a visitation by her dead cousin that the, the guy, the, this, this doctor has killed, killed her, her cousin. And there seems to be strong evidence pointing towards the fact that maybe this doctor, Dr. Al, oh, is it Al, Al, Albus, Albi, Albi, Willoughby, mm. I'll have to get my name straight, has been around for a while. This is a world that has vampires in it, and vampires are extremely long-lived. And I rather suspect maybe that perhaps through a book report of the the uh, nephew of this doctor that perhaps information has been let slip that the good doctor wanted to have suppressed. And indeed, they've already found out that the claimed crash site of the cousin's death wasn't the site where he was wasn't the site where he died. At least they they found all this psychic evidence. Well, actually, no, they've also found some physical evidence, which I guess you'd actually have to have a police, the police and forensics actually look at to see if it was actual evidence. But it does seem strongly pointing that he was killed somewhere else and then brought to uh, brought to a very out of the way spot to dispose of the body to stage a accident, which it apparently wasn't. So, hmm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really enjoying the story uh, of the book. It is kind of an engaging, kind of engaging mystery for that the kids are, are working out, especially Ellie is working out. She's got her dog, ghost dog companion. Ellie can raise animals from the dead. She's been doing it. She, her dog, it, number one, uh, she's been doing it with a, uh, not a troglodyte, uh, I'm a, oh, God damn it, a little prehistoric little animal, a trill, oh, God, see, I don't have all this stuff in my head, um, one of those little fossils, but she's basically gotten a little fall, trilobite, trilobite, maybe, trilobite, where she's actually gotten it to kind of revive and crawl around a little bit, so there's 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 evidence that you could do this with a lot larger creatures like dinosaurs or with that. The big rule in this world is that you can't do it to human beings. Indeed, uh, her cousin's white wife wa initially wants Ellie to try and revive the cousin, but it's like human beings come back wrong. They come back angry and vengeful and mindlessly vengeful and could really wreak damage. So this is the big, this is the big rule that they don't do. And there's, there's a little side, side thing of like, hmm, I wonder why that is that it's human beings come back that way. And is it actually the human being that comes back or is it maybe something else, which might, I don't know if that ties in with vampires. I guess we'll, we'll, we shall see. So we, you've got all this great stuff. There's a, there's a wonderful scene in the book which they, she and her mother go to because they're worried that the widow, I can't, Lara, Lauren, has gone to actually confront the, has gone to confront the doctor in these sections, and they, so they cruise by the house where they find all these vampires, and one vampire kind of comes over, and they've got, they've, they've got the cousins deceased cousins and his his widow's baby with them and the this vampire looks at the baby and goes hmm nice baby and kind of licks his, licks his lips it's it's uh, speculated by uh, Ellie that he is so old and so into the the kind of feasting on blood thing that he doesn't even isn't even aware of his kind of his monster behavior this might not actually be an effort to 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 intimidate them as much as it's just an involuntary physical reaction to delicious, delicious baby blood. And there's a wonderful scene where this guy chases them, jumps onto the back of their, their car, at which point 
her mother says, who is also Apache, Lind Linden Apache, says, I dis you have you leave us alone or else I'm going to disinvite you. It's like, <laughs> try. It's like, I dis you know, and she disinvites him from her land because all of this territory is Apache land and that he has, he starts to physically, he starts bleeding blood, his hair turning, falling out. It's like you, your only chance now is you got to run. You got to run and get off of our territory. Uh, and so that's, that's what he goes off and does. And it's a really cool scene, but there is the whole thing of this book. This book is written, A, Ellie is written, even though she's 17, she's written like she's 12 and hasn't hit, hit puberty yet. And is, which is odd. I, there's a thing of Ellie is obviously a geek. She is complete. She is complete geek, and it's acceptable that she and maybe her viewpoint is a very geeky, info dumpy viewpoint. But at this point, her mother, who is confronted by this vampire who is threatening their lives, stops to give a little lecture on, "This is all our land. I have disinvited you from this land." In a very kind of stilted way, in the middle of what should be a kind of a very tense scene, which it's it, it's it sort of typifies the whole the whole novel the, the whole novel's language which is i'm just i'm i'm sort of rolling with it at this point at one point i just i thought about giving it giving it up because it was just it's so aggressively there there's a point where um there she's talking about her ghost dog and you know he no longer sheds so he can he can sit on the couch and it doesn't matter he could sit on their food doesn't matter and but she also adds and is no longer shedding um allergens, all, allergen triggering, um, um, skin cells or something, something that's just like little info science dumps just all over the place in this book. Um, everyone's got this very, everyone talks the same. Everyone talks like, uh, uh, Ellie as well. If Ellie was the only one who talked this way and thought this way, and, but everyone else was a little bit more looser, a little less science geek, it would be one thing, but it's like, everybody is a science geek. Everybody has that all the all the connected all the all the the dialogue descriptors are over over descriptive dialogues uh descriptors in a way that is very clunky so i'm enjoying the world i'm enjoying ellie i'm enjoying the story but i'm not enjoying the language and there's just just this thing of I, maybe it's it's a book that it has a 17 year old protagonist, but it's a 17 year old protagonist that is very much, it's a 12 year old who can drive is, is, is what, is what it comes down to. It doesn't have, you know, you, you can see why they're the age they are, but they're, they're social, their social and intellectual, their social age is definitely like 12 years old. This is appropriate book for a 12 year old not a 17 year old who would probably be thinking about fucking at this point, to be honest. So you almost wish that Ellie was, it, it, they just aged it down. Uh, they it just aged everybody down and kind of got her, got around the whole, how did they get around and stuff like that? That's the tough part. They, they want to have a Scooby-Doo adventure. Yeah. And I mean, there's enough other stuff going on that you think, okay, this is actually, interesting stuff and my question about oh does this world this fantasy world urban fantasy world share the same history as ours and it's like most definitely does there is references to uh the colonization to uh extermination of uh, native peoples on their on, on their on their lands of of how native peoples helped the initial initial um that that, that helped the initial cult settlers the white settlers on this land and then were repaid back by being horribly persecuted and driven off of their their own land so yeah yeah it's got, it's got a lot of great stuff but it's uh, the just the, the the stilted the stilted info dumpy language and just the the disjunct between how old they're supposed to be and how old they're actually acting uh, is 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 pretty great there but enough so that i'm over halfway due done the book and i will definitely continue on all right so that is lots way 
by Darcy Little Badger for the moment.